Reality is harsh. The wise ones of today are not the ones that have their heads dipped or drenched in those magic potions from the cauldrons of political and modern day greed for power. This may not be within your grasp, but I challenge you to let your mind meditate on the thought. You could not be the worse off for it. Those who search do find that for which they need, and the wise only knows when they hear the truth. It is those who love and honor the facts and truth, though it may humiliate them or dictate their lives. Those are the wise ones of this generation. Those are the ones. They are capable of solving the problems of the universe. However, it takes much more than the knowledge of how. Performance must be in the plan. Necessity is the creator of motivation. It takes a true purpose in life to possess relentless determination. This may seem an aggressive way to approach the issue. Though religions of the world have failed to save the world, they occupy the greater portion of its history. Though mythical, they have performed their part to form the world as it is today, good or bad. I do emphasize the word bad. This may be as ice cubes down the back of your neck. It would be enlightening to know. Back before the first world power, Babylon, ruled by King Nebuchadnezzar, governments were influenced by religion. Religion has always influenced governments and always will. Until those in power realize it takes facts and truth to bring about justice, which makes a peaceful coexistence possible. The successful society seeks the facts and truth, as truth is the basis of all life. The great masses of people are not capable of governing themselves. You cannot unify people according to all their emotions and religion. It takes truth to bring about justice for human peaceful coexistence. Justice is found only by finding all of the facts in their proper places that form the truth. Could one endanger his credibility by expressing his thought as to the root meaning of religion? All human beings may have their own religion, though they are unaware of it. If one assumes the privilege of having a belief not substantiated by facts and truth, is it something other than a religion? At one time in the older dictionaries, a belief without facts and truth was the basic meaning of religion. Today, in our political society, it is very convenient to hide the facts and truth in order to soothe the feelings of their subjects, to achieve their purpose. Oh, did you think I used the wrong word? No, I am not twisting the meaning of subject or political. You may not realize the position in the society that you hold. Of course, you may have the illusion of being a free subject, but you certainly have your limitations. It is quite normal to have a belief without facts and truth. Cool, quaint, or whatever. The real trick is to have the intellectual capacity to fathom the guts it takes to admit to your dilemma. This is the bottom line. Do you even have the ghost of an idea or foresight to comprehend the catastrophe into which it will escort you? I may seem to be a sorry loser, but if I keep my intellect saturated with facts and truth, I may come out on top. I may find victory on the final stretch. Since I am not a famous professional writer, to you I may be a bore. I may not be very interesting or just outright disgusting. Perhaps, if tactfully I direct my insults toward you, I may get a spark that will light up your intellect a bit and get those rusty gears turning. I had thought of just asking you questions, but a yes or a no in most cases is worse than no answer at all. Either you are hiding something, no guts to speak out, or fearful of exposing your ignorance. Back when I was a little brat in grade school, I viewed literature as a waste of thought and energy. I realized I was certainly not alone in my concept. Those vibes were very near. As a fog, they engulfed me. Though Dad was not a drunk or dope addict, he gave me no encouragement to seek higher learning, as he called it. He had many professions and skills that he could achieve without that higher learning. 
Amid those many interests he had in life, there was religion. He was sort of a freelance preacher. As you may see, I was not shorted on the religious end of my upbringing. One very vivid environment that engulfed me. Dad held facts and truth above all religions. The bright side of life is that the truth was more appealing to me than the religious aspect of life. It was a substance I could deal with and understand, realizing that truth was truly all that actually exists. It did take Dad a few years, though, to realize the great creator created truth, and the mythical creature that is known as the devil was without power or truth, though it is contrary to the way most so-called Christians think. Eventually, Dad discovered that most human beings fit the description of the mythical creature, the devil, as they fathered many more lives than they did children. Have you ever pondered this thought? Why is religion so much like politics? The so-called Christians blame everything that happens in their life that is bad on the devil, and the good things are blessings of their gods. In politics, everything that goes wrong or is bad is the other party's fault, but all the great, fantastic, and humane things are all because of their party's superior characteristics and uniqueness. For many years I have been proclaiming that the two parties in government is a hoax. The competition is entertainment for their subjects. It is the same as professional sports. No, I did not use the wrong word subjects. Few know the position they play in this society. I realize you may have the illusion that you are a free subject. The secret of the two-party hoax is that it keeps the subjects divided. Division destroys power. You must understand that the two parties are not divided. It is all for their power and benefit to appear that way before their subjects. The corruption is in both parties. Neither party has true care for the citizens. America is faced with a hard decision. The possibility of a third party has breezed about as dust it has been seen and sensed in the wind. Parties are truly not the answer. We need a revival of honesty and truth, not a revival of religion, as religion has represented war and massacres since the beginning of time. The concept of a great creator is not religion. It is not what has been fought over. The concept of a great creator is in the field of true science. It has nothing to do with religious imperialism. Religious imperialism is a greed for power and domination. I know, it is harsh reality. However, reality is sure for all. Reality excludes none. We may think we can hide for a while. However, eventually we must face it in the end. And perhaps the quicker the better. We are definitely facing the crossroads, the serious and difficult time for America. Some may think that those who never cease to search are unstable in mind, immature, or dissatisfied with life. However, for those who have it all, that is all you will ever have. When we cease to search, our true life has vanished. We just exist. This video is the results of team effort to enlighten the whole world of the destiny we face, and especially the youth and the problems they face. Those of us who are addicted to our present society are missing true life. We just exist. The voice in this video is that of John Powell, a true and dedicated friend of yours and mine. John Powell is also the executive editor. Until next time, sweet dreams, truth will solve all our problems before we create them, and ignore or reject the truth, problems multiply all by themselves. Have a great and meaningful life, just whispers of the ghost of reality.